In this video, we are going to learn how to write the molecular equation and net ionic equation when sodium carbonate reacts with aqueous hydrochloric acid. For us to be able to do so, we need to first write the chemical formula of sodium carbonate and that of hydrochloric acid. When you look at sodium in its ionic form, it's Na+, because it's in group 1 of the periodic table, and all alkali metals, they tend to have a charge of plus 1, while our carbonate, CO3, will have a 2 minus, and for these polyatomic ions, you should just be well conversant with their respective charges. Now, we just have to simply switch these charges and make them subscripts. So we shall have our sodium carbonate being written as Na2CO3. So this is the formula for sodium carbonate, while that of hydrochloric acid is simply HCl. Now, when we, we are able to write the chemical formula for sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid, then we are good to go to write our molecular equation. So we have our sodium carbonate, we shall write Na2CO3, aqueous, meaning that it's dissolved in water, with our hydrochloric acid, dilute, or aqueous, that will mean we shall also have aqueous hydrochloric acid. Then we shall form our products as we are going to see. So what basically happens is that we shall have a switch of radicals or ions. So basically we shall see our sodium taking off the chloride ions while our hydrogen will also pair with the carbonate ions. So we shall just have sodium with chloride ions while the carbonate will switch with the hydrogen ions. So we shall have sodium chloride. Now both of them have valence one, so we shall have sodium chloride aqueous because it is soluble in water plus now the hydrogen when it, re it reacts with the carbonate we shall have carbonic acid being formed so when you have hydrogen ions with the carbonate ions we shall form the carbonic acid which is a weak acid so here you could be writing a carbonic acid however this carbonic acid is quite unstable and it tends to break down to form carbon dioxide and water. So this carbonic acid being unstable, it always breaks down to form carbon dioxide gas plus water. As such, as the second product on our equation, we shall have to put carbon dioxide and water instead of carbonic acid. So we shall have here carbon dioxide gas plus our water. So this will be our molecular equation, but we have to write a balanced one. So since we have a 2 on sodium, we shall put a 2 on sodium chloride, so that our sodium will be balanced. But in the due process, our chlorine will become 2, so we have also to add a 2 on hydrochloric acid. And this will be a balanced molecular equation for sodium carbonate reacting with hydrochloric acid. Now let's try and write a balanced equation for the net ionic equation when sodium carbonate reacts with aqueous hydrochloric acid. Now for us to write the net ionic equation, we should first of all write the general ionic equation. And in this case, all compounds that are in aqueous form will have to be put into ionic form. However, those that are in gaseous, solid or liquid state, we shall leave them as they are. So when you look at our sodium carbonate, here we shall have sodium ions we shall, obviously there are two, we shall also have carbonate ions, we shall have from hydrochloric acid, we shall have two hydrogen ions, aqueous, plus two chloride ions, aqueous, forming two sodium ions, because sodium chloride is also aqueous, then plus two chloride ions. Now for carbon dioxide gas and water, because they are not in aqueous form, so we can't have corresponding ions from them. So this is the overall ionic equation, but we need the net ionic equation. And from this, we shall have to eliminate the spectator ions because they do not participate in the reaction. So we shall have to check the left-hand side of this equation together with the right-hand side of this equation. So what happens that our carbon dioxide and water will have to 
to remain as part of this equation but not in ionic form. So our spectator ions will be cancelled out because nothing has changed concerning them. For example, we have two chloride ions on the left and two chloride ions on the right. So these ones don't participate in the reaction because they remain as they are. We also have sodium ions and then sodium ions. So what remains will be the net ionic equation whereby we shall have our carbonate ions aqueous with the hydrogen ions, two of them, to form our carbon dioxide gas plus water. Now the net ionic equation means that we are seeing what exactly happens in the reaction. So in the actual reaction, it's the carbonate ions from sodium carbonate that will react with hydrogen ions to form carbon dioxide and water. So this becomes our net ionic equation. And you have to always ensure that the charges are balanced. When you look at this side, we have negative 2 plus positive 2, which is equal to 0, as compared to this side, 0 plus 0 being 0. So the charges are equal on the left-hand side as well as the right-hand side. Yes, thank you for watching.